So ideal care management for tracheostomy patients that is evidence-based focuses on what skills nurses need to be competent in when it comes to caring for this patient population. Abdul Rahman and other authors stated that nurses need to be able to perform an appropriate respiratory assessment to determine the rate and death of each respiration, and this could help the nurse determine whether the respirations are fast and shallow, for instance, or if there are abdominal retractions noted with each breath taken. Respiratory assessments should also include auscultating the lungs for abnormal sounds with a stethoscope and knowing which sounds require immediate intervention. As for humidification, most patients with tracheostomies require of humidification via a tracheostomy collar device, and application of devices should be known knowledge that the nurse should be competent in. With stoma care, proper skin assessment should be performed at least every four hours to prevent breakdown and rebleeding of the stoma, as well as potential source of infection or skin injury. Suctioning is imperative to know when caring for a tracheostomy patient to prevent phlegm and secretions from accumulating and decreasing the oxygen delivery or tube blockage. Displacement can occur as well, so the proper use of an obturator should be something the nurse should feel comfortable using if this occurs and if needed during an emergency, using an ambu bag to deliver breaths until ventilator support becomes readily available. When these interventions in care are given, patients have satisfactory outcomes, and this is due in part of having specialized training which enhances nurses' confidence and perceived delivery of quality patient care regardless of nurses' experience level per the literature.